Well, it's not easy, I can tell you that much for free. There seems to be the stigma around architecture being really, 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 really difficult to study. But why? If we break it down, there's a few things that come into play. Firstly being that it's extremely time consuming. Architecture is perceived as being difficult because of how time intensive it is. This heavy requirement of a student's time and the lack of experience of managing one's time as a student creates sleepless nights, long days in the studio and horrific amounts of homework. Because there is no end to the work that you do, as in an architect's work is never finished. There's always something that you can add or subtract or implement or change to your design. The only thing putting an official stop to the work that you do is the deadline or due date. The second reason why architecture is so hard is because it requires deep thinking and understanding. Architecture is very design heavy and problem solving based. These things require deep thinking and focus. In a world filled with distractions, it's getting harder and harder to focus on doing deep thinking and just putting your head down to work. Lastly, it's so hard because it's like going to architecture school is spending a semester in construction school, a semester in art school, a semester in history school, business school, theory school, design school, all in one semester. It's this jack of all trades which requires you to learn a little bit about a lot. Architecture is so difficult because there's just so much you can learn about and it's just it gets overwhelming. However, I want to say that it doesn't have to be hard. We make things difficult when they don't need to be. We make studying architecture difficult when it doesn't have to be. As you can see when looking at these three points, firstly being that architecture is time consuming, secondly being that it requires deep thinking, and lastly being that it's a jack of all trades. It requires balance and different skills to learn and, and learning a lot of everything. But if you look at what all three of these things have in common, it's that it's about having balance, time management, not procrastinating. These are all skills that you can practice to get better at. The first point of architecture being time consuming. The way around this is to prioritize high important tasks, setting yourself a to-do list, managing your time better, you know, not procrastinating, not getting on Netflix and watching a show when you know you've got work to do. Manage your time and practice the skill of managing your time to make architecture a little bit easier for you. Secondly, deep thinking is another skill you can practice. It's a really valuable skill to have and it's getting less and less common in a lot of people, especially architecture students. Again, practice removing distractions and procrastination. Set timers when working to help keep you on task and stay focused. Practice saying no to procrastination and you can watch my video on saying no to procrastinating which is that video up linked above. I highly recommend checking that video out. Lastly, it's about trying to balance different classes and trying to learn different things and focus topics at once. You can practice the skill of balancing and managing your time to get better at working on different things at once and get better at this over time. So yes, architecture can be really, really, really hard but you can make it easier with the decisions that you make and you can choose how hard architecture school or studying architecture or architecture is going to be for you. As long as you're consciously practicing and getting better and trying to get better at the things you do every day, you're going to find that architecture becomes easier and easier. If you're watching this video because you're thinking about studying architecture, don't let other people's experiences and opinions of architecture discourage you from getting started. If you have a passion for it, you'll do really, really well. I guarantee it and architecture will be easy for you. On that note, I wanna say thank you so much for watching it all the way through. If you have any questions, feel free to chuck them down in the comments below. While you're down there, please do feel free to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I do appreciate that. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Until next time, take care.